Hello and welcome on into episode 15 of the New World Top 5 Fights. If you have an awesome clip that you want to see in the top 5, you can send that to Christopher at pvpnewworld.com. Starting us off today, we've got Tranquility playing some Sword and Shield uh, Hammer in medium armor. He jumps on top of this mage. I love this snipe off the top of the tower. And then he gets a great stun with the hammer into the shockwave and then hits him with the armor breaker to finish him off. Don't see armor breaker a ton in PvP, so that's kind of cool to see. And he makes his way back inside. He's got a friendly here too. And uh, it looks like two enemy players, three enemy players in the fight. And the friendly player going for that flamethrower tranquility just right away, going to the same target. It is the healer. This is the first one they want to take down. He gets some decent damage in with the sword and shield. And man, he's shaking that camera every time he mashes that attack button. But this combo is beautiful. He sets up the stun, goes for the detonate as well, and catches all four players in a massive explosion. Right away, Tranquility just switches back to the sword and shield. Excellent tracking and stays right on top of them. This guy trying to escape. He's got so little health left. But just, wow, that was such a huge bomb. And he just... Completely wipes the inside of the outpost by himself. Really nicely done, and the game is just about to end. Next up, we've got on the attack playing some Rapier and Blunderbuss in Outpost Rush. And he's got three players that follow him kind of off to the side here, and he just starts putting a little bit of damage in with the Blunderbuss. Goes for the Azoth Shrapnel Blast, and I love the flourish and finish right away to get a little bit more uh, poke in there. And then he goes for his detonate. The enemy healer actually panicking and rolling early and on the attack just gets on top of him with that flourish or the uh, flesh, sorry, and takes him down. And he ends up kiting the heavy player out just a little bit, goes to the flourish and finish, managing to bait out quite a few attacks from these two. And he just misses his net shot, but that's okay. This guy gassed his stamina flesh at the perfect time behind him. And he almost kills that player outright. He's got the flourish and finish, but he goes for the blunderbuss instead. The enemy player just hanging on. And there is the flesh to finish him off. And then he right away jumps onto the other player with the flourish and finish. Just uh, getting a little bit of damage, knocking him back. And just fantastic movement swiveling around this guy. This guy has to do more than just mash that light attack. And uh, on the attack, just forcing him to drink all of those potions. And I think the poor guy just gave up at the end. Next up, we've got Pascalito playing Warhammer and Great Axe in light armor. He gets a fantastic opening stun on those two players and then goes for the Shockwave. And oh my god, he did huge damage on that guy, just taking him down right away. And then this enemy player goes to engage and Pascalito just trolling with the block, absorbing the rapier damage. Rapier does very little block damage and Pascalito just uh, abusing that fact right there. And the enemy archer jumps on top here too. Actually, both of them have bows. The rapier player switching out to his bow as well. And this clip here, I mean, it's a great clip, but if you guys get epilepsy from this, I, I am terribly sorry. <laughs> and Pascalito taking another player down. Fantastic combos. The stuns. Huge damage with his axe on the whirlwind. And then right away into the gap close. Really well played. And then he goes into the stone form just to bait out the stuns here. Oh my god. The AoE damage of this build. Pascalito taking him all down. Now moving on to our next fight. We have got Nuffim. And he is playing that elusive spear and life staff build inside the arena. And he's finding himself in the 2v1. And what I love about this clip and Nuffim's build here is the way he can just spam that javelin. Look at this. The javelin already off cooldown. And he manages to get two stuns in really quick succession. Taking a lot of damage himself. Switching to the life staff. The big burst heal. And standing inside his circle. And then he goes for the stun on this guy here. Gets good damage. Again, he did land the skewer. Another stun to drop him on his back. And he finishes him off with the orb of protection. Oh my god, that is so much style. I don't even know what to say. And he lands the uh, stun combo on this guy. This guy here going for the blunderbuss moves. But Nuffim is just all over him. Dodging every single attack. And lands the kick to finish him. 
And finally, for the last clip, we have got Knight Knee with quite a long fight. And he's playing Heavy Armor, uh, Sword and Shield Hammer. And there, unfortunately, he tries to get the stun combo. These guys escape. Knight doesn't get the combo he wants. He does big damage with that detonate, but the enemy player managing to heal up. And it looks like a third player comes in. Knight right away jumps on top of him and just pokes him with the sword and then goes back into blocking. These guys are throwing a lot of damage against Knight's block. And I like how he's rotating the light attacks in there and just waiting for the right moment to go for those stuns. He catches both of these guys inside of the AoE stun. And the uh, archer or musket player that just joined the fight, he walks right into that uh, knockback as well. And Knight, again, just keeping up that pressure on the uh, on the ghost, managing to kill him. And the enemy players just swinging like crazy. Knight absorbing so much damage with that sword and shield. And this is a beautiful stun here. He goes for the knockback. Both players going down at the same time. Knight throwing in some bags. Oh my god. And now he turns to the greatsword player. He is getting shot by an archer up top as well. And Knight goes up to the archer, I think just trying to cast that uh, PvP taunt on him. And Knight goes around the corner. The greatsword player chases. It looks like a third player has come back into the fight. And the archer does jump off the wall. He starts his combo again with that sword and shield hard stun. Goes into the knockdown. Shockwave on the hammer. This guy just survives and I love it. He goes for the riposte. And Knight just dodges by him. Hits him with the light attack right at the end of the animation when he's vulnerable. And this greatsword guy still right in front of Knight's face. He does a great job just uh, going for that stun while he's in the middle of that move. And he gets a fantastic combo. He just survives off the ground. Oh my god, the save from the hatchet there. But it's not going to be enough. Knight managing to stick to him with the sword and shield. And he takes him down. And now it is just the uh, spear rapier player left in this fight. And he's just going to do some dodging around. And this is... Um, this is the way he can survive against Knight's build, but he is definitely not going to win the fight if he doesn't do any damage. And Knight just trying to land those light attacks and uh, not using any moves himself. And I know he's saving it in case more players jump in or waiting for that right moment to use the move. Now the spear player is feeling brave. He decides to go for some offense uh, since the musket joins the fight. Knight gets the stagger on the musket player and it looks like the greatsword guy is also back. There is a big stun with the hammer into the knockback and Knight just about bringing him down. The enemy player fleshes out of there to survive. Knight has got everything on cooldown. He tries to stay on top of him, but man, he's throwing traps down and everything. The gap close, managing to get back on him, landing a few light attacks with his sword and shield as well. And now he's got a lot of moves off of cooldown. There's the hard stun with the sword and board into the combo stun from the hammer. And Knight is forced to back up from the enemy player, just charging his detonate there. And he breaks a little bit of distance, heals up a bit with his potions and uh, back to blocking these guys' incoming moves. The greatsword player just swinging like crazy at him. Knight just doing uh, a little bit of a dance too to make himself hard to hit for the musket player as well. And oh my god, he can just block so many attacks. His stamina just holding on. And then he goes for that stun with a hammer into the knockback. This guy unfortunately having a lot of HP when Knight went for that combo and he didn't have his detonate ready. So uh, he's not able to get that kill. And the enemy players here just... <laughs> All over Knight, man. Oh my god. They are not going to give up until he is dead. But Knight just popping a few more heals. And he's got his detonate ready. And he's just kind of blocking attacks here. We know he's going to look for that counter stun at the right moment. There he lands it on the spear player. And he doesn't even need the detonate to finish this guy off. He does hit him with the detonate before the hammer move comes in. But oh my gosh. That guy goes down right away. And the greatsword player right on top of Knight. Still, he finally manages to break Knight's block, but Knight just goes into that uh, light attack spam, taking advantage of the fact that that guy was in Onslaught stance. He actually took a lot of damage from that combo, and Knight does uh, get on top of the musket player. There we see a good combination stun. He hits him with the knockdown, and again, this guy managing to escape with the flesh, and Knight just didn't get the damage he wanted on that combo there either. Another enemy player joins the fight, and well, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the last bit of this fight as I say goodbye. Of course, there is a bonus clip at the end of the video brought to us by Windy, 
And a big thank you to everybody for sending in those clips. We've got links to everybody featured today down in the description below. If you guys want to send in your own clips, you can send those to Christopher at pvpnewworld.com. Check out my website for a bunch of written guides to different PvP builds. And of course, they're on my YouTube too. And if you want to catch me live, there's a link to my Twitch down below. A big thank you to our sponsor, ExpressVPN, for sponsoring the show. They can keep you safe on the internet, and you can get a deal with them thanks to the link down below. And last but not least, a massive thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon for supporting the show. Thank you guys for keeping it going. Thank you everybody for tuning in and watching today. Have a great night, everybody, and I'll see you next time.